what is going on guys and welcome to html and brackets tutorial in the last video we actually created our first web page and we learned how to make a title and the title we had to make in between the title tags that are actually nested in between the head tags over here in our html document and i changed the title for the name of this video it's going to be headings in HTML. This is what we're going to be learning in this video. And also in the last video, we covered how brackets have actually a live preview. So we, whatever we're going to be writing is going to be appearing right here. We don't need to save our file and then go back and actually open it with our web browser. We can actually right away see our changes in the brackets. Now, what I want to quickly show you in the brackets over here you can see this toggle menu working files and the folder that we're working in actually in the brackets if it's on our way we could go over here to view and you can already see here this uh, hide sidebar so if I press this then actually I have way more space to, to work with and I'm gonna be jumping back and forth sometimes I'm gonna open up that menu sometimes I'm gonna close it it's gonna depend on the situation but I'm just letting you know that you have this option you don't need to use that toggle menu if you don't want to and there's actually a shortcut for for actually getting rid of that menu and in the Mac it would be command shift and H and you can see how I, if I'm pressing command shift H is basically I'm getting rid of the menu the menu is showing up again I'm getting rid of the menu and you get an idea so let's just get rid of this menu for now and let's jump to our body where we'll be doing all our work if I want to make a heading in HTML I would need to make a heading element of course so the way I would do that I would start with an opening tag and I would write over here H and now in this case I'm gonna write H1 and you can see that right away brackets gives me the closing bracket for me so in here I'm gonna say hello world and I am heading one okay so now you can see that hello world I'm heading one and let me just copy this and is it six yeah it is six so here we're gonna change it a little bit and I'm gonna say that this is gonna be heading two so we can see the difference and I'm gonna write away here too so over here I'm gonna write three and the same thing over here. and you can see how they're getting smaller and smaller because by definition the h1 or the heading one is gonna be the largest and of course h6 or heading six is gonna be the smallest so I keep on going and I'm creating this one is h4 and this is gonna be h5 and I'll have to change around actually inside the heading over here so let's create h6 and here I'm gonna write h3 h4 h5 and h6 and now we can see how clearly what is the difference that we have a heading one is the biggest then heading two three four five six so obviously if you want something to stand out on your page let's say a title or something you would, you would need to use heading one but if it's not that relevant you would have to use heading six so let's say right so I'm just gonna make this bigger so you can see the difference and you can see over here how we have all the headings over here in a bigger page so again I'm just gonna make it smaller and that's what another option what we can do with live preview we can basically keep working with this page make it smaller and bigger uh, this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.